Yo, what's up, blockheads? I figure we'll make some progress today. See what we can get done here. Maybe a quick inventory of stuff that's hanging around here. So I don't have uh, a platform set up to start working on assembly yet. So this is going to be a multi-step process, just trying to get things ready to go. So I figure maybe what we'll do is try to put some of this in an orderly fashion. Um, so I guess we'll start with this thing here. So this definitely looks like the droid flyer from episode three. So a lot of this stuff's going to be pretty dusty. Um, now what's kind of interesting is I actually put some of these clear supports to actually set some of these up so that you could actually rest on their side and then get propped up for display purposes. So that looks like that had that adjusted, but you know, there's a lot of dust on that thing. So maybe what I'll do, let's try to group some of these Star Wars things together, at least once I get some space on the shelf. Um, but we're going to try to rearrange here. So we got, looks like an original TIE fighter up here. This thing is probably missing a couple things here. I don't, this did actually have a stand, so it's probably in here somewhere. This thing's probably been one of the few that was never disassembled. And this, I think, is going back to late 90s early 2000 here so that can obviously go in the star wars pile and there's the the darth vader one down there all right so what else we got here um we're not gonna necessarily get into the box stuff just yet so this is one that's really interesting so this is something that goes all the way back to the 80s and i think this is some kind of moonwalker from the original space stuff and there's actually a special story behind this one this is one of my only couple eBay purchases, and uh, I'll dive into that a little bit more in the future. But let's get that one set up somewhere out of the way. It's not quite Star Wars, but not irrelevant. So what else we got here? So there's going to be some random pieces floating around here, so we'll have to figure out where those go. Those mo might go on certain things that are hanging around here, but um, let's maybe make a spare part pile. So this is... You know, you may know something in common here. I may have a lot of Imperial Walker stuff floating around. So as you can see, I've got the box for an Imperial Walker right there. And then here I have one of the mini ones. This one actually sat on my desk for a while. This is about the only decoration I had on the thing because I just didn't, I'm not very, I'm more of a minimalist when it comes to that kind of stuff. So again, Star Wars decorative, we'll put him down there. Oh, and go figure, we're already breaking stuff. So, okay, so here's something interesting. Uh, so I don't know where this figure yet is at. We'll have to find him. But somebody at one point gave me as a gift one of these mini figures, and these were random. You can get them at the Lego store. And my friends are very proficient at figuring out which one was in there based on the shapes in the bag. And there was a gamer one in here, and they actually figured out which one it was, and they gave that to me. So that guy's got to be in this giant crazy mess here somewhere so hopefully we'll run across him at some point but i still have the wrapper of course because i don't throw out much of anything lego related so here we go so let's uh take a look at some of these boxes here let's try to get these a little bit more organized so this is kind of where it all started a couple weeks ago um despite having the idea for this a long time ago like say a year and a half ago some friends were talking about some Lego stuff they were looking up online, and I think this one was in question. They were looking at the crazy price on it on a website. I don't know if it was Amazon or something else, but they're saying, oh, yeah, look at this. This is crazy expensive. Like, I'm thinking, yeah, I probably got a couple of those. So here we came down into the, the bunker, and I'm like, yeah, sure enough, I've got one sitting on the shelf. This is unopened, of course. So this is episode three content. So you're talking via 2000. No, actually, this would be much newer than the movie, because I think a lot of this stuff came out maybe in the mid-2010s. So we're going to set that one aside. We've got some more minifigure sets to go through. Oh, speaking of which, in duplicate, no less. So there's two of those. So I don't know if this was an intentional pickup or uh, a gift or something else. But this is one of the micro fighters. Um, so I guess this is Luke. I'd have to inspect a little bit more in full. But anyway, we've got the Micro Fighter X-Wing sitting there. So I think this is more likely that this may have been a Christmas gift or something. So Usually the stuff that I would have purchased would have been ideal for setting up. So here we got a final duel number two. So there's more of a blonde Luke than anything. This is kind of like where they were at the um, 
headed toward the Imperial Walker or somewhere along the Death Star. So definitely some old school style here. And we may have another similar to that. Nope, we got a micro fighter. So this one's even got a price tag on it. That's craziness, 1549. So what's kind of interesting that it has a Ben Franklin price tag on it, and those stores haven't been around for a long time. So again, another possibility of maybe being a gift one. So let's put the micro fighters together. Working on a, a piling system here. All right, so here's one of the other dual ones, except this is the Jedi Defense one. So I'm guessing this looks like Obi-Wan Kenobi with the old school droidicas. So at least we know those two can go together. What else we got here? So here is... The, I actually had multiples of these back when these came out. And these are actually closer to the original sets. So the speeder bikes. And I actually had a couple open because I wanted to assemble them and set them up for display. And of course, got the Luke. I think he's already got the black just damaged hand with a glove on it. So definitely some Battle of Endor stuff going on there. So that can actually go there with those. And then, I think we got an Episode 2 set here. Alright, yep, we got some clone troopers, and again, different form of droidica. So there has been a zillion iterations of droidicas, and you're probably going to be able to see those over the generation there. And I don't even know what that vehicle is there. I don't know if that was something movie or later, just something actually they decided to cobble together. Hard to say. But at least we got some of those in, like, order. And then, what other kind of random stuff we got here? So this strikes me as possibly something that may have been a free gift with purchase at the Lego store. So that was something I discovered maybe about 10 plus years ago. And uh, I mean, that was a very short time that I was actually buying anything Lego wise because I was, felt like I had outgrown it. It was just more to collect a couple things. Um, but yeah, that's not high on the priority list. We'll set that to the side. Um, what else we got here? So, oh look, more Star Wars. So here is more Endor stuff. So we got the snow speeder bikes, snow troopers. So that may be unsurprising considering I have this custom platform here, which I was starting to set up as an Endor scene. Uh, I'm sorry, not Endor, Hoth. Better get that right. I'll get chewed alive for messing that up. Um, so again, this is kind of one of the minifig sets with small vehicles. So those will go together. Um... So I think what we're going to do, let's move these micro fighters down out of the way. And then at least got a spot to put all, we need to find a way that we can put these labels out so we know what they are, but it looks like they don't all have the labels. Okay, so we got the minifigure stuff, and then we've got the Episode 3 Swamp Troopers. And I think I see a couple more here, which are still related to this category. Uh, not quite, they're close. All right, so we got... The droid tank, or at least the corporate alliance tank droid. I can barely get that right. So this was pretty cool. This one actually had episode two Django, some of the basic clone troopers that didn't have the yellow markings, and then the brownish uh, battle droids from episode two. So I think that's a duplicate, because again, it's more run scenes to me. But the other one might be open, so maybe I didn't go for more than one of those as, a, as far as an extra. And then here we've got the homing spider droid, I actually had the small one too. I remember that being such a cool scene in the movie when I first saw it. And that's got Stas Ali, Clone Trooper, and the Super Battle Droid. It's got a couple of those. So some of these were worth their value just because of the figures that were included. That way you could help build up scenes a little better. Um, so I guess as far as Episode 2 and Episode 3, there, here's another one of those droid gunships. So this is one still in the box. Has, you can't see that very well. Chewbacca, Elite core Troopers, some Super Battle Droids, and some regular Battle Droids. So this is not necessarily one of the cooler vehicles, but is definitely more one for the iconic scenes. So I think this one's probably going to be a little bit more of a standalone by itself. Um, we got possibly... Okay, this one's relevant to our Hoth setup here. So this is Hoth Attack. And I had the droid, the spy droid. I had the turret. Looks like it would have been a good setup for like some trenches. And it does come with a Han. How about that? So there's definitely going to be some, uh, mostly episode two and episode five stuff. That was kind of the focal point. So as we'll see here. So here's a couple of snow speeders. And this is actually the more, the one that was in that same era. I've got one of the original snow speeders around here somewhere. But... So, there's two of those, it looks like. And we'll 
believe those be. So I don't think there's much else here other than a couple extras. So we'll put the uh, droid ship up top. So we got episode three stuff up there. We'll put the actually we'll put small episode two stuff up there. Try to group those together. And that means we can take these guys, episode three, put them up there. And then I think we've got a couple other random things here. So I'm going to bump the micro fighters down, bump the creator stuff down. And I think this is also another gift at some point. This was another creator set little train. And then this one is actually intentional. This is probably one of the only creator ones that I picked up intentionally. Um, this Well, actually, this I don't know what they call this. This is more of a designer series in which you had people submit their own designs. And then if they received enough votes or were popular according to some threshold, they would actually get produced. I remember there being one of the Ghostbuster vehicles back in the day. But because this is mech-related, it caught my attention. Also, it's pretty cool that they had a classic-inspired space emblem on it. Some kind of looking space turtle. So this is actually cool and might be neat to assemble at some point. And, oh, and probably again another gift one because I don't really get into the architecture stuff too much. But here's the Seattle Space Needle. So that's not quite going to fit in with our uh, Star Wars and landscape stuff so much. So I'll go down to the bottom pile here. All right, so where to begin from here? I don't know, but we're going to have to figure that out. So let's try to get pieces together and maybe instructions together, and then we'll call it a wrap because there's going to be a lot to do here over the next few sessions. So let's start on the top shelf up here. At one point, I probably got a little more organized. I've got plastic cases here with all kinds of little pieces. I don't know if this was all for display stuff. Maybe we'll get into that in more detail next time. But I see some lightsaber pieces. I see some Star Wars figures. Uh, may have been some redundant pieces from Star Wars stuff. So we'll keep that aside. And then I think we got a box probably of instructions. Oh, yeah, we got a ton of instructions. This is probably mostly new stuff in here. So I see the Ultra Agents team thing. That applies to that va uh, the truck portion there. Got the semi-cab hiding out there. So we'll have to dig into that a little bit more. But... At least we'll know where some of the instructions are. No, let's see. Move that to the floor for the moment. Um, so let's kind of group this truck thing up to get a little bit. So this thing probably fell apart. Pieces uh, may have rolled off a shelf or something. So we'll have to get that reassembled. But at least it's out of harm's way. So there's the cab. I'll probably talk about this a little bit more in detail. This was probably one of the last things I ever got about 10 years ago. And I really liked the color style on it with the blue and the black. That probably should come as no surprise for anybody who's known seen any of the color palettes on the stream. So here we got the actually assembled is it let me get my droid tanks wrong. Corporate Alliance tank droid. So we'll keep that here with Star Wars stuff and then we'll work on regrouping some of that later. And then I think this could be a box of assembled stuff or instructions. Looks like oh boy we got we got a gold mine here. The things you kind of do for storage, so don't mind the Spalding shoebox. But we have some hardcore classic stuff. Now, this stuff probably never got disassembled, so we got some space police going on here. Space police ship. I, I remember this was the Galactic Peacekeeper or something, so we're talking late 80s, early 90s here. And even some Ice Planet. So I bet you these were probably some of my favorites that never got taken apart. So I think I'm going to end on that. We'll save some of this for a future one because I know it's already running kind of long. But you can see there's a lot here and down here in the bunker. And uh, we're going to have some fun trying to put all this together and make sense of the randomness that it is. All right, enjoy. We'll see you later.